Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption Walkthrough. This is Titanium Rhino, and where we left off last time, we had just gotten done with a chariot race for Nigel West Dickens. He gave us a contact here in Armadillo by the name of Irish, who he described as a drunken arms dealer. Drunken Irish arms dealer. So, we're going to go meet him and see what's going on. I think it's actually going to be pretty entertaining, because one of my favorite characters from Grand Theft Auto 4... That was the one with uh, Nico Bellic. One of my favorite characters was actually Patrick, who is the Irish guy who uh, put bombs in cars. So let's see what happens here. I doubt he's going to put a bomb in my horse, but uh, it should still be entertaining nonetheless. Let's go. And if I can learn how to drive my horse again. This time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard! You thieving mechanic! You got it all wrong, Welsh! All wrong! It was French, I promise! He said he was going to rip you off! Now he's ripping me off! Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish! In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black! Yeah. What's up, boys? <sighs> Fuck off, boy! This don't concern you! When a man with a sing song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here, this paddy bastard stole our guns, tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did, not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? -o? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. -o. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna fight. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right. Where's the Welshman? Oh, oh, Irish. Gotcha. Whoops. Okay. So let's try this again without letting Irish die. Stupid Frenchman. Wow, this is horrible. Okay. I need to equip my gun and go into red dead mode. Dead eye mode. Forgot it wasn't equipped. See, this is what I'm talking about by being out of practice and uh, not being a great cowboy in my comments there. Try this one more time. Ain't nobody speak to me like that. First time I died, uh, when Irish died, I was actually thinking about hog tying a French guy. I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Not gonna lie, I'm a little embarrassed by that showing. <clears throat> Let's get this over with. The saloon's calling me. This is turning into a hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. 
Kick his knees ever since. And that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not far now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. <laughs> I like his metaphors. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Oh, they've got a machine gun. Okay. Stand up again. Now oh, we'll go for your friend. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Who's next? <clears throat> so I had a request in my comments for. Uh, undead redemption after this playthrough. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that. I was looking through my downloads and apparently I do not have it yet, so I'll have to go ahead and get that, but it's only like five bucks. I'll go ahead and do that, put that up after I'm done with this playthrough. But it did answer the Golden Guns and the War Horse um, and the Deadly Assassin outfit, actually. Those were downloadable contents I purchased previously. They're only like a buck on there right now, so if you guys want to play this game and are interested in some of this gear that I have, um, yeah, that's where it is. You're mine now, you dumb oh, 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 no, 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 no. Get away from me. Okay, where are we at? Alright, bumper. Yeah, there we go. You must think I'm a Nancy. I'll call you lunch meat. Oh wait, no, I killed the cannibal already. Never mind. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Yeah, are you surprised? I need a more than you now. I feel like that gunplay was a little more impressive, at least. Oh, what, what, where are you going, Buckwheat? What are you doing? Buckwheat just killed himself. That. Oh, God damn it. Mount is lost, you'll have to wait before you can whistle for another. What the heck is I Okay. That's irritating. Buckwheat, what the hell, horse? For no reason go. whatsoever. Just runs right into the water. No, still no.
You now own a new horse. It'll come when you whistle. Okay. There we go. Buckwheat's back. Now the only thing I'm uncertain of with this type of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you... Okay. The only thing I'm uncertain of with this, like, with the horse training stuff, the excess, or the extra stamina for loyalty and stuff, does that carry over in this? I don't think so, which is irritating. Let's see if he... If Buckwheat 2.0 is still in the water. Oh, he's just playing dead. I'm going to call this Buckwheat 2.0 still. He didn't actually die. He was only pretending. That's a sneaky little trick, horsey. Well, Irish lied to me, so let's go find him and see what the deal is. I was expecting a machine gun. Not back in Armadillo. There's West always oh, down here at Benedict Point. Okay. Oh, I, I is he passed out drunk behind the train station? I'm trying to remember. Let's go. Anyways, I like the character aside from the lying. He's got some pretty awesome metaphors. Steal an acorn from a blind sow and kick her for screaming. I forget what the other ones were. I'll have to watch the video again. But they <laughs> uh, Nope. Not going to bother with you guys. Not sure who my favorite character in this game yet is. It's still early though. It could end up being Irish. Taking the place of Patty from Grand Theft Auto 4. Patrick. Speaking of putting bombs in horses, you know what you call a uh, a man with his hand up to his elbow in a horse's butt. Amish guy with a, his elbow in a horse's butt. A mechanic. That was a horrible delivery. I'm sorry, guys. I'm horrible at multitasking here. Talking and riding a horse is difficult for me, apparently. Here we go, Irish. Let's see what the deal is. Where was that machine gun you promised me? Looks like we're going to a mine. Just a guess. Machine gun, Irish. Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. It's found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and then the salt on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much you means to me, how special you is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <clears throat> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. Makes me violently angry. <laughs> Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Let's do that. 
Not a fella to give up easily, are you? I'm not much of a whiskey drinker myself, but I did watch a video done by Jack Septic Eye and PewDiePie where they tested out a bunch of different whiskeys and went up to like a hundred year old bottle of whiskey. It did make me kind of want to try it again. I think the last whiskey I actually tried was uh, Jameson, which did not appeal to me. You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? If I got another chance to try some good whiskey, I'd try it. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It's words like that at all, fella. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus. You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. Mm -hmm. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your gang. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial uh, uh, with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always spicy bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Stop, damn it. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. Swallow nails and crap out corkscrews. That's an interesting business model, actually. I imagine go over well and... France and Switzerland, Swiss. And there's a shaft them bastards use to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place Thought he to said he'd never been horses, down in a mine before. And return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Oh, is that it? All right, find a way into the mine. And actually, looking at the outfits, Gap Tooth Breach is where we're at now, right? Yeah, stage five, or scrap five, complete gap tooth breach hideout. So I should get another step towards my treasure hunter outfit on this quest, hopefully. One more gunplay. Looks like we got some shooters. All right. Bring it on. I need to get out of here. You got no business here, mister. Oh, hold holder. Fighting music. Dun 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 dun. And I don't think I'm really gonna worry about looting everybody here. I've got enough ammo. Money's not really a concern for me at the moment. I know you 
you there. Poke your head out. Never hide beside TNT. Come on, people, you know better than that. Speaking of, the core has been blocked off. Been through here once before already. Just exploring around and on my own in between videos. Did not count as being cleared out though. Shaft. And none of this was uh, closed off to me. Oh, I see ya. Big Hank. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. I know I've got healing items I could probably use. I see you there. Oh, that's not you. Okay. Ah, there you are. Right, not now. Yeah, I'm not messing with you like that. Oh, TNT. Oh, also the gold gun gives additional... No, wh why? I switched again. Oh, no ammo. Okay. Anyways, the golden guns give more fame per kill. So if you want to earn fame quicker and get side missions unlocked sooner, that's how you do it, is with fame. Getting more kills with gold guns, that'll do it. I just don't much care for the Cattleman's Revolver because it's weak as hell. And that mini-map helps a lot in these mines. Oh, pfft. Let's shoot the wall. Pretty sure I shot that first guy in the shoulder. Still died. All these guys down here, try and pick them off from the high ground while I can. Can't hide behind cover that way. Come out, come out. Can I get some more volcanic pistol ammo, please? I don't like that TNT being there. Oh, I did pick up a shotgun, so let's try that out. See what what we can do with this. I understand they're short range, but let's play with it a bit. Was that a lantern that just blew up? Oh, he's on fire. Yeah. I'll let him burn. Alright, so it's in there. The mine track does not go back the way I came, so I'm going to have to push it through. The barricade's back to that, uh, that lift, I'm guessing. Track goes up that way. Yeah. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh.
All right, let's do this. Push it to the shaft room. Right bumper to slow down and stop. And if I don't stop, that's it. Okay. Draw side arms. I'm pushing. Oh, I can put. Cool. You push in the car and you gain enough speed, you'll automatically jump on. Oh, what the heck? Okay, this is not a battery issue, just a connectivity issue. Bear with me here. I apologize. have to bear with me while I figure this out for a minute. Can I get back there this way? I'm on the wrong side of the cart. I'm just a great big dummy. Oh, and I got a glitch going. Nice. There we go. Bad Bob was in the way. No big deal. Want to take bets on whether or not Irish is up top? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carts being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Get up top and have a garden fight, I'm sure. Nothing's that easy. Last time I played this game, I stopped doing missions before this point, so... Oh, there she is. My memory's really... Real spotty on the main story from here so far. Or going forward. That oh, sounds like another... Somebody's pissed. Oh, I got a fight going through the camp. That's right. That's not very nice. And this is how roller coasters were invented. Let's go. A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. I know he said pace sure or peacemaker, but it sounded way. like he said pacemaker, and for a second I was like, that's not the thing that this is. That's not going to help us break into that fort. Come on. All right, do I get that uh, treasure hunter outfit bit? No! Ah. Well, I think at this point going through that mine brings us up to time on this video. So, this is where we'll stop. We'll pick up next time. Uh, 
Oh, hey. I got a funny man quest. All right. Anyways, we will pick up next time. And let's see here. We've got West. We've got the Marshall. And Irish is all the way over in Thieves Landing. So we're going to pick up and do West Dickens for the next quest here. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, I'm kind of embarrassed about that first part of the first mission. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure I'll get over it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and please subscribe. See you all next time and keep on gaming.